It's a typical scene in 2050. The sun is shining and the commute to work is the ideal time to catch up with important work. Of course, it's easy to forget how driverless cars have brought us increased productivity, greater road safety, less pollution, and better traffic management, along with freeing up space in major cities. It's certainly a far cry from the late 20th century, when the car itself could do virtually nothing to assist the driver. Annual U.S. road deaths stood at nearly 40,000, and increasing congestion cost billions of dollars and lost productivity. So, if we could travel back in time to 2018, how would we explain the journey to fully automated driving? Well, at this time, the auto industry is close to building fully autonomous cars, but there is no infrastructure capable of making such technology an everyday reality. So, the first stage is driver assistance. Drivers must pay attention as always, but the vehicle can intervene with a single function, such as taking over steering or controlling speed. As technologies advance, automakers move on to partial automation. Again, constant attention is necessary, but the vehicle handles a combination of functions based on the environment. Next comes conditional automation. Here the vehicle manages all aspects of driving in certain conditions and alerts the driver to resume driving when those conditions change. So readiness to take control remains key. Once we're used to that, high automation takes over. Don't be alarmed, but you may not need typical vehicle controls. The vehicle now operates without human oversight in most conditions. This is the tipping point, where our relationship with transportation becomes more flexible and efficient than ever, reconfiguring our cities and our lives. Finally, we arrive at our destination, full automation. The vehicle can drive all roads and conditions without getting distracted, tired, or ill. This allows effortless mobility for groups such as the blind, disabled, and children. And of course, everyone arrives completely relaxed. Well, almost everyone. Automated cars. Are we there yet? No, but we're on our way.